Welcome to BTEC Revision. In today's lesson, we're looking at angular power. By the end, we should be able to calculate the angular power of objects. First, let's refresh our memory about torques. A torque is a turning force, which is measured in Newton meters. A turning force allows an object to turn around, and we can calculate it using this equation. Torque equals force times perpendicular distance from the pivot. And we can see the short form is Greek letter tau, which stands for torque, F for force, and R stands for perpendicular distance. Tau equals F times R. Now let's look at angular power, which is the rate of work done in the form of torque and angular velocity, and it's measured in watts. The equation we can use is angular power equals torque times angular velocity. Let's look at an example. A disc is rotating at an angular velocity of 10 radians per second. If the torque acting on the disc is 20 newton meters, what is the angular power of the disc? We can start by writing the equation power equals torque times angular velocity. We have the torque is 20 newton meters. And multiply that with the angular velocity, which is 10 radians per second which will give us a power of 200 watts. Pause the video here and attempt this exam question. A student is conducting an experiment to investigate the relationship between torque and angular power in a rotating system. They have a disc that is rotating at an angular velocity of 60 radians per 10 seconds. If the angular power on the disc is 10 watts, what is the torque on the disc? We can start by writing down what we have and converting the units that are necessary. Power equals 10 watts. And the angle of velocity is 60 radians per 10 seconds. So that's a value of 6 radians per second, which is the correct unit. Now we can write down the equation. Power equals torque times angular velocity. The question is asking for torque, so we're going to rearrange this for torque, which is power divided by angular velocity. Now we can plug in our values. It's 10 divided by 6, which is 1.67 newton meters. And that's the end of the lesson. If you would like to boost your grades, try the quiz questions at btechrevision.com, where there's lots more resources available. See you next lesson.